welcome to another video. This is JT from RubberCityMotoring.com. Uh, this is like video four, five, I forget now, of the Torque Head install. 96 Impala back here doing the Torque Head 24X coil pack conversion, no more OptiSpark. So, in this video we're going to focus on, we'll say electrical. Kind of the, the brains of all this, the, the wiring, that sort of thing. And I wanted to run you through what I'm going to do. And I'll show you what I'm doing here. First off, the infamous torque head PCM. Now what's so cool about this, I showed all this in my original video, but if you missed that, go back and check it out because I explained sort of in detail everything that's going on. This is an LS PCM, brand new, but what it has on it from a, a torque head exclusive is the ports to match up to my factory wiring. And then in the middle is a plug for the Torque Head C3 connector. What's going on with this guy though is um, the Impala doesn't really fit well with this. If you have an F body, uh, you can get a newer PCM tray uh, to replace your old tray. This will slide right in that spot by the uh, passenger side uh, firewall there. So what I had to do on the Impala is modify my existing cover a little bit to fit this. And I'll show you what it looks like, but I think it's going to be fine. All right, next up, as I mentioned, the wiring harness. It's all right here. Um, legitimate, awesome, amazing. I love pre-made wiring harnesses because I just... I hate wiring and this is just like was worth the price of admission right here with me as was the PCM to get rid of that old 96 computer. I mean look at these things. Fully weather pack, watertight, legitimate, loom, they're labeled. Uh, I mean it's the perfect length, everything's here. We've got the, the coil pack connectors, sensors, it's all here. Easy to do. That comes with your kit for Torque Head. Finally, what I'm going to bust out, and this isn't something I'm going to go into step-by-step -step detail. They give you eight plug wires like this. Um, coil pack, or I'm sorry, spark plug end. You have to make the coil pack end. And they give you all the stuff, the, the MSD tool, everything like that. Pretty simple, but at the same time, um, they do it like this so you can get it just that perfect length. And I've got some boots to go on these as well because I have headers. All right, that's a lot, so let's get going here. So on the Impala, the PCM tray is right below the air intake, right in front of the washer fluid here. If you look on the, uh, we'll say, this side over here, this right side of the screen or the driver side of this, I basically shaved off that, um, let's say, just the whole, that whole side of it. And it allows, sorry, I bumped my camera there. It allows it to sit pretty darn flat in there. Okay, and now this is the factory cover right here, which just kind of goes on like so. So it's pretty decent. It's still a bit thicker, so I'm going to have to fit my K&N on there and make sure it clears. Um, I mean, if anything, this piece right here might have to stay off, but there's no real wrong way to do this. Here's the piece I cut off of the bottom tray there. It was kind of like, like that. So um, that's where that's going to go. And basically what you got to do then is you connect your existing connectors to that and the new connector and you're in. That's it. What's cool about this is uh, I was able to get it flashed for this 383 with all the torque head specs, everything else going on. Uh, torque head does offer this either a stock tune or a uh, modified tune based on your application. So that's, uh, that's pretty snazzy. So. All right, let me get this hooked up here. So there it is, all five plugs are installed now. Notice I said five because you do have five PCM plugs now. They're all in there. They do hit the fender here a little bit, um, but I'm gonna focus here on the torque head component, uh, the C3 connector. It goes down that way. You can kind of follow it. I've zip tied it to basically that big main harness there. Probably catch a few more just to make sure. And then we have three plugs right here. Two down on the torque head unit and one goes into the old ICM connector which was right under here. This blue one. 
that plugs into the, basically it's like a female end right here. So you get all those on there and you kind of, uh, you know, for lack of a better term, uh, you know, hide them all, tuck them in however you want to, just make sure they're tied up and out of the way. I'm gonna have this big one sort of follow the main because if you look here, they go all the way to the back. Those two, so we'll say the white ones, the big ones, those go to the coils. And they even tell you on the sticker which bank they go to. So pretty cool, very detailed. So I'm gonna wrap this up here as far as getting these connectors on and should be good to go. Like I said, the ICM there doesn't get used. It's kind of tough to see uh, right back there. So I'm actually gonna just take that off. I thought it was for some reason still gonna be used when I was chatting earlier, but um, yeah, pull that right off of there. So if you can kind of pick out the new wiring loom running along my original, the uh, ones are connected down there in the torque head sensing unit. The main one I kind of zip tied up along here. Basically just follows the big one there. And it's actually, um, they give you more than enough length. You can see I got like a little loop, like a little lump bump there and whatever you want to call it. Um, Cause I like, you know, usually with this stuff you get just enough if it's not a little short. So I made sure back here it was real tight, you know, followed it you know, perfectly. So I had enough at the end and I had more than enough at the end. So I kind of just loosened it in different spots, but you can see my connector back there and then right there next to the transmission dipstick the connector back there but it's I'll kind of get you in there there's that one and then there's that one so between the PCM being done C3 harness all plugged in next thing is spark plug wires and then it's pretty much it other than reassembly so I'm gonna go ahead and get these cut to length and uh, see how we do. So one side is done, plug wires are on and installed. If you uh, look there, I did use some, um, you know, nothing fancy, just some spark plug boot protectors. Um, I had them on my old setup as well and just transferred them over. And uh, I'll probably end up like doing some zip ties or something together on some of these just to hold them together away from the uh, the headers the best you can um, you know cutting them to length I'm not a pro at it but I did a pretty decent job and I think I'll get better as I go to the other side over there but um, if you do have headers I mean I thought this was crazy these are the old wires down here you can see I mean they were clearly burned or discolored from the uh, header sitting there and you definitely don't want that to happen to your wire but if you pull it off of there um, you can see that the wires fine and Everything's good to go. So I'm going to reuse these four for the other side. But uh, yeah, so that's one side down and uh, just this other side. And we should be good to go uh, for the most part on everything. Just kind of start to reassemble there. This being a new engine, I might check some fasteners and things like that uh, before um, you know fully starting it up I know I need an oil change some various things to do so yeah that's the uh, plug wires there so recapping this video we uh, went through the PCM the uh, gosh what else the C3 harness or connector and also spark plug wires overall pretty simple step honestly after doing that hub and pulling everything off from the factory this reassembly of these like shiny new parts is pretty simple so um be sure to follow this follow your instructions as you do this um but you know next video is going to be uh kind of just an overall recap might show a couple live videos here and there but uh yeah it's it's getting there just need to put the water pump back on. I'm waiting on some new hoses and uh, battery has to go in. And that's pretty much it. But it's snowing out right now, so I can't really do much other than start it and listen to it run. So, um, yeah. All right. So, thanks for watching. Torquehead.com. T O R Q H E A D.com. Uh, RubberCityMotoring.com. 
follow along if you're not a subscriber hit that button if possible hit like if you like this if you have a question comment below let me know what you think if uh, you have questions on the install a specific part um, even if this is posted later you know or you catch this later like a year from now post a comment because it'll probably still be in my brain how I did all this so all right see you next time thanks